Hi, this is Jim Storkwether, the publisher of Kimmaker Network and Model Ship Rights, and welcome to another quick Fast Five video on our video channel and websites. Um, we're going to do a, the Academy RMS Titanic in 1 1,000th scale. This uh, kit's been out a while. Uh, it's unfortunately it's kind of languishing in our in our samples uh, list, but we're going to go ahead and get it get it done. Um, this is an intuitive build with loads of details. Uh, it requires no glue, no tools, and no paint. So that should be easy. Uh, let's go ahead and open her up, shall we? This is part of their MCP Multicolored Parts series. All right, that was quick. All right, the instructions, um, just kind of go over them very fast, because this is a fast five. Uh, we've got a parts layout on the front here, so it shows all the different parts included. Uh, there is a, a very, very graphic and colorful step-by-step uh, -step here, as I'm going to kind of quickly run through, but you can see essentially the build process uh, through the uh, main hull parts there and the decks and then the further buildup of the upper superstructure uh, with the final details going on. And that uh, is that, as they say. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and break these out and then we'll quickly come back and pick it up from there. Alright, so once uh, all the parts are broken out, you can see the ship is already kind of in uh, Pre whatever built uh, they give you they give you these three sections already kind of stuck together but they're not they're just right now kind of pushed together uh, which is basically uh, the way this you know all this this ship requires in terms of no glue um, but um, you can see the the further bits that go on the the front section here um, are not in place yet and. Uh, basically just kind of go on like such and, and so forth. So uh, what, what else is included? Well, they have a, a brass uh, gold anodized um, section for the, the props, uh, blades, and uh, I think those are the anchors there. We've got a brown uh, one here. Uh, I'm not sure what, uh, what these are, but uh, brown. Um, they've got a beige section for some of the top decking. Um, which again, you know, the Titanic did have a wood deck, but it's it's not going to color match this very well. I mean, this <laughs> this is going to give you kind of a, uh, you know, uh, I would hate to say kids version, but you know, like a almost like a toyish version looking of of the Titanic. Of course, you could go back over here and, and paint everything, repaint everything. It's plastic. There is no problem with repainting over this stuff. Uh, the gold anodized stuff may require like some primer or something if you really want to do that. But uh, but yeah, that's the only thing to watch for. Uh, white section here with a lot of the small uh, deck uh, add-on parts and and uh, some of the other superstructure details. The pilot house I think this might be up here and stuff. Not a not an expert on the Titanic, although I do have a book at home. Uh, <laughs> uh, the smokestacks uh, in orange. Again, not sure how color correct that is. Um, from pictures I remember, they, it, does, it does more of a kind of yellow color, but uh, maybe orange works, I guess. Um, this is a rusty colored uh, plastic bit, which includes like some of the masts, I think, um, and then other, other probably deck uh, bits. And the black section um, has a plate, obviously with the name, the Titanic, and um, the, the base, which uh, Kind of as these little round things with um, these little de decora decorations. I think this may all be the base, actually. I'm not sure. There may be some other parts. I think these are maybe parts that are used with the ship. And then a decal sheet, which uh, is for the flags. I'm not sure those are decals. They feel like decals. Could be stickers though, where you just like you know put them around and then they stick to each other. Um, and that's it, really. So uh, you know, it's. It's going to make a, a cute little, you know, 1,000-scale one, 1, uh, Titanic. Probably could be put together literally in less than an hour if you were quick about it. Um, but uh, for maybe some modelers who, you know, kind of new to the new to modeling or even for, for younger people, this would probably make a, a fun build kit. Um, but, uh, but yeah, these, these should at least give people an idea of what's in the kit and uh, what it's going to be like. Uh, so if you're maybe on the net searching for something like this, you have found it. Uh, thanks again for our friends at MRC for uh, and our Academy for sending us this uh, review sample. We will uh, see you next time on Fast Five and hope you enjoyed.